You're about to watch me read Edge Dancer by Brandon Sanderson. My expectations for this book are somewhere in the middle, leaning more on like lower of the expectations. And I think it's just like, I don't know how I feel about a whole story about Lyft. Like I have nothing against Lyft, but she's just like, she's kind of annoying. But despite that, I am still excited to read the book just cause like, I really love the Stormlight Archive series. And this is the novella that comes after the second book. So this is book 2.5. And so I'm excited about that. Cause like, it's going to give more like details about the characters, about the world about like what's going on and like the character darkness whose name I actually don't think we know what his actual name is but he's really interested especially like what happened in the second book with him and Zeth so I'm excited to see like more about that and kind of get to learn more about that character so less about Lyft more about like darkness himself um but maybe maybe I'll grow to like really like Lyft we'll find out right so let's crack this book open and enjoy <laughs> I'm a little bit more than 100 pages and also halfway through Edge Dancer and here are my thoughts so far. Lyft is like, she's like kind of annoying but she's also like kind of endearing at the same time and then like uh, Wendell, like her spren, I think is a really good compliment for her, like for her and just like having them interact I think it's just, it's nice, it's just kind of a nice vibe. Um, it's very like sporadic, her whole character is very like sporadic so it's like how does she get in so much trouble all the time and she's like ah like running around and stuff so it's definitely very fast paced and like fun to go through the prologue was actually just like the same as the interlude when you're first introduced to lift so that's like the per first like 60 or so pages and then the rest is like new content so uh for anyone who maybe didn't read the second book or maybe forgot what the interlude was about i just read it recently so i was like oh like this seems really familiar <laughs> so but yeah the book is actually pretty fun like her character is like honestly really respectable she's chaotic but she's also really respectable like she purposely like goes out of her way to make sure that like people are remembered and people are taken out of like bad kind of situations and like all this like she's just inherently good chaotic good and so like she's fun to follow around and so she kind of discovered darkness who i know we kind of got who his actual name was at the end of words of radiance but i honestly can't remember because her name was way better <laughs> um and so she's basically stuck in darkness because she figured out that he's going around killing people like her and she's like that's not right like this isn't right and so she's kind of going around and like eating a lot of pancakes which is part of her goal like she's like oh i'm gonna eat a bunch of can pancakes because we know like lift she loves to eat food and also kind of fuels her her, her awesomeness as she calls it so yeah it's interesting i don't know where it's gonna go so i'm like chaos she's chaos incarnate i also like that it takes place in the part of the world that we haven't really seen that much and so kind of learning about the culture there even like the different types of outfits that they wear and just the whole vibe of the place i think is really cool like that extra little bit of context in this like beautifully crafted world so yeah i'm excited to see where the last half of this book goes so i will see you probably when i finish it because it is a very small book so i'll see you then So I just finished Brandon Sanderson's Edge Dancer novella, and this is actually a really cute, very short little read. It really does amaze me the way that Brandon Sanderson can write, because like when we're reading the Stormlight Archive series, his writing is just like, it's so complex, it's so good, all the characters feel realistic. And so when you have a whole novella all about Lyft, like barely even a teenage girl, the writing is so different, because like it actually sounds like it's like a little 
preteen girl and her thoughts and the way that she reacts, her use of awesome and awesomeness all the time, um, definitely made me feel a little bit nostalgic for back when I was like 12 or 13. And I'm like, awesomeness and yuppers and like that kind of, I try not to think about that to be honest. And like, yeah, she's like a little bit annoying, but like she's really endearing at the same time. And I really like the mature, aspect of her character as she started to evolve throughout this you know, little novella as well as like there were some really really great scenes in there like the scenes of her just interacting with citizens doing these things pretending like oh I just did it because you know no reason but she's doing it to help other people and she genuinely like cares about people and listens to them and also I really like just like the interaction and like how she and Wendell are such great foils for each other because like he's not a regular like spren he was a gardener spren <laughs> which I don't really I'm really excited to find out more about like the different categories of spren as well as we continue to read and he's a little bit of a coward to be honest but he's also really brave at the same time and then like Lyft she kind of revealed a little bit of her actual internal worries and why she's always so like go 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 all the time and just like the interaction she has with Wendell and how they kind of like support each other and work together I think is really fun and just like it's funny that the way they interact with each other as well like it's the perfect amount of like humor. There was also a really excellent scene with Zeth in this novella that I was like wow that's that's really cool that he did that because we know that if the events in book number two didn't happen, he probably wouldn't have done what he did in this book. But you can see that he feels much more free now, like after he like technically died in the last book and just like, he just seems happier, I would say. Like, I wouldn't say he's happy. He's still definitely like upset about like the actions he took in the past. But like, you can see there's a difference. Like there's a little, at least a little bit of weight lifted off his shoulder just based on his interactions with Lyft and like the other characters. I thought it was really great. But I think the biggest, most important part of this book is the whole darkness aspect. What's his actual name? I, she, Lyft makes me forget everybody's real names. Nail. So like the, even just like the development of like Nail's character and Lyft growing as a character and as like a Radiant. And so just like that whole part of the story, which I would say really is the last half of the story was the best part of the book. And I'm excited to see like where it goes. Cause there was like that postscript at the end of the novella that kind of mentions like, yeah, like there's some reasons this happens and it really gives you that extra little bit of flavor, that extra little bit of context before you go into Oathbringer. So I'm really happy that my lovely subscribers had recommended and told me that there was a novella because I had no idea. Oh, also, the old guy. That was really, really cool. I am like so fascinated by like what that character and like other characters like him could be and like what their purpose is. It was good. With, obviously I can't spoil it for you, but like it was so good. So I'm going to award Edge Dancer, the novella, a total of four stars. It isn't really five star worthy. I was a little bit bored at the beginning because I didn't really know like what was happening. It was just kind of lift being chaotic, which I mean is entertaining, but you know, it, I wasn't really sure like if I was enjoying it as much. But then like once we got into like little bit towards the middle I was like oh, okay yeah this is actually like really interesting like I'm enjoying this so I think four stars is a fair rating for this. So now that I've finished Edge Dancer we now know that means I can go into Oathbringer which these books are getting bigger and bigger and I love it. I love everything about it. I love the pages are like so soft and also of course there's some really great artwork and I have absolutely no idea what this even means. <laughs> I even showed the artwork to my boyfriend who's read the series he's like I have no idea who those characters are so yeah I guess I'm Maybe I'll find out, maybe I won't. Maybe it's like a hint to like other future books. I have no idea, but I am very excited to go through this book. So if you're interested in watching me read Oathbrenner or any other books that are on my TBR, and if you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. That way you get notified anytime a new video comes out. If you enjoyed this video and if you think that Lyft is awesome, definitely hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.